In the beginning, we were all one family. We knew of the sacred love and respect for all of creation. Our pre-dawn ceremony honors the energies of the sun, which powers our daily life. We honor our Mother Earth, who nurtures all with air to breathe, food to eat, water to drink, and a world to make our homes and raise our children. Much has passed since the dawn of our human family. Tribes and civilizations have come and gone. A multitude of creative ways to honor creation have been practiced and forgotten. We find ourselves in a time of history in which crisis and potential disaster threatens the survival of life in our planet. It is spoken that we humans must come back to a sacred path if we are to survive. We are guided in this journey to the ancient spiritual center of the Americas, to the land of the Mayans, Nachan, Palenque, Etzna, Uxmal, Kaaba, Loltun, Chichen Itza, a journey to discover the cosmic knowledge that offers the information and laws of our galaxy, the sacred geometry of the temples and the pyramids. The new cycle of the sacred calendar of cosmic time for human beings has started. The pyramids are given their information impressed within their stones where the essence of the Mayan knowledge was kept for a millennium. It is time to reopen our sacred Mayan ceremonial centers. The esoteric knowledge of Quetzalcoatl, of Kukulkan, offer all of us an understanding for the beginning of this new cycle and the solar initiation for the year 2013 begins here. In the name of the great power that is in the skies, I come as a representative of the Latin American Parliament of Indigenous, and I bring this invitation in the name of my people and of my organization. Agradezco a Dios y al Padre, Creador, Formador de todo. I thank God and our Father, the Creator of everything that exists. Me siento feliz. Nuestra cultura, que Dios nos inspiró en esta tierra, península de Yucatán, a I, nuestros padres. I thank this land that has been inspiring all our people, all our grandparents, in this precise place of the Mayab. A este motivo, que nuestra cultura inspirada por Dios es de amor, de paz y de hermandad. To our culture that is inspired by, by love, by peace, and by harmony. Yo me siento orgulloso de haber encontrado viendo a mis hermanos Somos uno, como el dedo en la mano, sin diferencia. I feel proud to be bringing here the knowledge to be one, like the hands of one, like the fingers in one hand, all united in the same. Um, what could you tell Mexico, the people?
people who have inherited the Mayan blood, what could you tell them of their ancestors? What could they really learn? What could they relearn from the philosophy and the knowledge that the Mayas have left? What is there to relearn? What is there to reawaken to? Is the greatest gift and the greatest treasure that we know on this planet. The civilization of the Maya, which was the uh, highest uh, and most inspirational culture of, of ancient Mexico, uh, was the, the repository of knowledge and wisdom from cosmic and galactic sources. This knowledge and wisdom is still here. It is still here to be understood in very, very simple ways. Part of it is that it is to return uh, with an attitude of reverence to all the different places that are scattered throughout the country here and to uh, communicate with others of like mind there and to understand that the greatest power that exists is the power of the heart. If you come to these places with an open heart, with a pure heart, and understand that uh, uh, it, is, it is through the bonds that are formed here in these sacred sites that the energy that is here is real. It is a very real energy, it's a very real inspiration. And that uh, it is here that you will uh, find the, the sources, the fountains to drink from, to, to renew yourselves. If you can study what there is, uh, particularly of the, of the ancient Mayan wisdom uh, that is cast around in a few books and with a few elders, uh, that is fine, but uh, that is not easy for everyone. So more important is to understand that the energy and the power is here. This is one of the most powerful places on the planet. And the richness that you have here is waiting to be tapped so it can be of service to create the new future that we need. Because the wisdom of the ancients was a wisdom that was completely in tune with the earth. And the wisdom of the path of the future must be a wisdom that is completely in tune with the earth. You have a richness here that is waiting to be tapped. But it's very important for people around the planet to get together on behalf of the planet because the planet is in trouble. People understand two things from, from that. One is that it is necessary to unite on behalf of the earth and the other that this uniting on behalf of the earth must be done in a sacred manner. that I have a distinct feeling that what you're doing with your organization, what I'm doing with the Banana Clan, all of that, what others are doing on the same level, as part of the return of Kukulkan. The return of Kukulkan, the return of Quetzalcoatl, or the return of the Pahana, or the second coming of Christ, is all but the same. You, in your book, and uh, Jose Aguales, in his book, is telling us that we are getting toward the end of a cycle, which is more or less the end of the century. We're going to, we are moving into the end of another cycle after 2013. And that corresponds exactly with what the Bible, with what the codexes, with what all the myths, would they be Judeo-Christian, would they be Native American, or would they be even such as the old French philosopher Nostradamus, Michel de Notre Dame, has written, we are definitely getting to 
an area of time where things are going to move ahead to another dimension. And my feeling is that this is what is the return of Kukulkan and of Quetzalcoatl and even of Jesus Christ because it's all the same. I speak to you a ustedes en nombre de la hermandad blanca del señor Cuculcán the name of the white brotherhood of the lord Cuculcán que en un lugar de la tierra de México Teostitlan which in a place on this earth of Mexico Teostitlan nos prepararon they prepared us para venir y to compartir come and share la verdad the truth que todos están buscando that all are judging con respeto regarding in Tloque Nahuaque in Tloque Nahuaque ha depositado en el deposited en el príncipe señor Maya Umbat Men in the Mayan prince Umbat Men conducirnos to uh, conduct us to lead us hacia la ciudad sagrada blanca maya to the sacred white mayan city pero hay que hacerlo con respeto but it has to be done with respect no en el momento de crisis que se encuentran ahora not in the moment of crisis in which you find yourselves now si desean introducirse a las escuelas iniciáticas if you wish to introduce yourselves to the initiatic schools Deben de you must dejar de razonar. Stop reasoning. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we know God in Maya, it's, it is the name, it is Hunab Ku. And the name of the pyramid, it's Ku. So in the house of God stay the knowledge the mathematics, the religion, and the calendars. El concepto maya es aplicado a todo, no puede ir aislado porque es una cultura integral, no puede decir la relación del hombre con la naturaleza ni la relación del hombre con, el, con Dios, la relación del hombre con el hombre es integral cuando se tiene el concepto claro de la ley cósmica que es del amor, de la unidad y de, del respeto, 
eso mismo es aplicado a la relación eh, hombre mujer y lo que es un ser maya en su relación because the mayas had a cosmic culture and their concept of uh, of this unity el concepto de esta unidad sí. yes of this, there has to be this concept of unity this concept of us being a, a cosmic being Sí, o sea que no puede ir desunido. Yeah, it cannot be, it was an integral culture. The Mayas were an absolutely integral culture and things cannot be separated one from each other. Everything is one unity, one integrity and this is what the Mayas have to teach us that we are integral part of nature and of the cosmos and all this has a, has a very natural flow as long as we respect this. Sí, que no puedes ir separado como amar a Dios, como amar sí. la naturaleza. It cannot be separated how to love. The love for God is the same as the love for nature and the love for ourselves. Sí, Conclusion came to the conclusion to send two representatives, to send two representatives to take the answer to our sister's invitation, to our sister's invitation, to our sister's invitation. If someone can translate, you speak Spanish? I do. Yes, I do. Que por amor a Dios, tenemos que respetar su dulce invitación. Porque esta, pensándole bien, yo quisiera de esta figura. Es la hermosura de las mujeres. That from here comes the beauty of the woman. Todas esas dulces miradas. All of those sweet looks. Se encierran en una flor. Are enclosed in the flower. Nuestra misión que pertenezca. Our mission which belongs. Que perdura. And that uh, endures. La esencia. Is the essence. La cultura de los mayas. The culture of the mayas. I would like to hand this to your arms.
saludo. We I greet la parte femenina. The feminine aspect y el aspecto masculino and the male aspect de todos los seres of all beings el círculo de afuera the outer circle somos la madre represents the mother somos las mujeres we are the women somos el útero we are the uterus somos la noche we are the night somos la oscuridad de donde sale la vida we are the darkness from where life comes out of Les damos las gracias. We thank you. Y somos cómplices de su compromiso. And we are accomplices to your commitment. El tiempo de Hunabku. The time of Hunabku has once again arrived. Tat U y Yung Kim. Tat U and Yung Kim. Nos acompañarán para siempre. Will accompany us forever. Vemos nuevamente la dualidad. We once again see duality. Simbólicamente tenemos Symbolically we have a un felino de dos cabezas, a two-headed feline, el cual representan which represents el femenino y el masculino. Adelante, hermanos y hermanas, go forward, brothers and sisters, que el tiempo ha llegado, the time has arrived, y ustedes, and you, están abriendo are opening tres mil años de historia en este lugar, years of history in this place. que vuelva a reinar el gran pensamiento cósmico Let the great cosmic thought process reign once again. para que nuestra Madre Luna, so that our mother, the moon, nuestro Padre Sol our father, the sun, y todas las estrellas and all of the stars, vean que sus hijos nuevamente may see that once again their children están en el camino correcto once again within the correct path de nuestros hermanos universales. Of our universal brothers and sisters. Madre Tierra, Mother Earth, que nos vio nacer. That gave us birth. Tú eres la hermosura del cielo. You are the beauty of the sky. Tú eres la riqueza de la tierra. 
You are the richness of the earth. Tú eres la ciencia de mis grandes hombres. You are the science of my great people. Tú eres la fuerza de mis grandes guerreros. You are the strength of my great warriors. Tú eres la belleza de mis lindas mujeres. You are the beauty of my beautiful women. Denos la paz. Give us peace. Denos amor. Give us love. Denos tranquilidad. Give us tranquility. Denos comprensión. Give us comprehension. Que nos amamos. So we can love each other. Unos a los otros. One to each other. En tu nombre. In your name. No existe frontera. There is no borders. No existe excepciones. There is no deceptions. Somos mismo sangre. We are the same blood. Entre esta generación. Between this generation. Perdónalo. Forgive us. Se ha olvidado de tu doctrina. Because we have forgotten your laws. Se ha olvidado de tu cultura. We have forgotten your culture. Pero hoy. But today. Quiere que nos dé la vida. We want you to ask you for life. Amén. Amén. Oh. Oh. Myself. I'm very devoted to the planet. I would say that I am totally devoted to the planet, to the beauty and the love that I feel every time I look up and the gratitude I have of working very hard right now over the next course of the next 10 years because I believe we can make it. So I'm in there, you know, full time. Uh, that's why I'm opening sacred sites because I believe that if we open that sacred center inside of ourselves that's the key the sites and the temples are there it's it's us uh, the sacred temple inside of ourselves and and our sacred fire if we get that going we've got what it takes to to make it through this this time this is the symbol of the he in maya it means milky way at the same time the zero in Maya. For a long time we used this symbol for to understand the law of the cosmos. We are seeing in this moment again the He Maya, but in this case is in the representation of the eyes of Yunchak. This Yunchak, you know, it's the representation of the master of the water. Like you see, these eyes of the Yunchak to repeat in a lot of Yunchak we have in this temple. In Ushmal, for a long time, they used this symbols, the woman too, because it's necessary to understand the water and the process of the woman in this sacred center of Ushmal. We are seeing in this moment, in the Temple of the Sun, we are seeing again the He Maya. In this case, the very old Mayas made connection with this temple for the indicates our solar systems belong to the Dat He. We are seeing in this moment all the view of this Temple of the Sun and the very old Mayas, they put a lot of symbol here for the people to see and to remember. The name of this place is Ushmal. It means the eternity moon. At the same time, it is place, it has connection with the Milky Way.
This is the land of the Bayas. This is the land of the Lacandones. Los Lacandones son dueños de la selva porque son dueños porque no. The Lacandones no, are the owners no of the jungle. Nada because they don't allow the trees to be cut and the land to be used in the wrong way. They love it very much. It speaks to us in these times. It returns to each one of us. We offer this kopal, boom, that its smoke may rise and ignite the flame of truth and healing throughout the world. That in the Mayan language, the word Balam means jaguar, which is a symbol of the occult, of the hidden knowledge of that which we don't see with our eyes always, but which exists as a reality in this universe. And Ka means two, means duality. So the Maya would say that Ka Balam is the hidden knowledge of duality. This is the teaching of Kabbalah, of the Tree of Life, is the hidden knowledge of duality. And here between these temples is this teaching of Kabbalah. <laughs> us here who have given of ourselves, of our wisdom, and of our love for Mother Earth, our beloved home, I offer these crystals. In years to come, may their energy join the crystal energy that is already within the sacred site. We have brought in the seven colors representing the seven root races of man. The rainbow banner has been carried around the globe. It now forms a belt of light around the equator. All the masters whom we all honor, all the great spirits, Sanskrit, Hindu, Mayan, Aztec, African, Chinese, Tibetan, all of those have been gathered with us here while we have worked. Take this knowledge with you, take it into your hearts, live with joy. We have completed a cycle here today.
Arguelles, together with Humbats Man, together with Maestro Velasco Piña here in Mexico, and with many elders of many different tribes, have found out that this period between 87 and 2012 corresponds to the end of a cycle. It's not only at the end of the cycle of the calendar of the Pisces era, coming now into the Aquarian age, but it's also the end of a Mayan cycle of what's called the long-term uh, calendar, in which you are coming in the last period of an, a cycle of nine hells, and we're coming now into a cycle of thir 13 heavens. That some way is symbolized by the end of the age of darkness and the beginning of, of age of, uh, of, of, of wisdom. It's the beginning of wisdom is represented and symbolized for Mexico in the form of Quetzalcoatl or Kukulcan amongst the Mayans. And the Mayans were the people amongst the people in Mexico who were the highest civilization in, probably in this continent. Arguelles that has studied for more than 30 years the Mayas has understood that the Mayas had then, had now, a very important role and task because in a certain way History shows that the Earth, as a living being, has chakras, exactly as we living beings have chakras. That means points that are energetically more important than others in the body. And that the movement of the flow of the energy of the Earth has a cycle. That's the same thing that the Kundalini serpent goes around our bodies. The Kundalini serpent of Quetzalcoatl goes around the Earth. And that that spirit of Quetzalcoatl goes from point to point in the planet, from chakra to chakra, and arises uh, civilizations. And that for the era of Pisces, the civilization that had her heart and the spirit in Tibet and the Himalayas has moved in the last 20 years to Mexico. When archaeologists uh, in the 19th and 20th centuries discovered the Maya, uh, the Mayan ruins and began to investigate them, uh, perhaps the most spectacular uh, uh, aspects that they noted were uh, that here was a civilization which by technological standards was, was not even uh, in, the, in the area of, uh, had not even entered the st stage of developing metallurgy, still late stone age we would say, and nonetheless uh, the art uh, was of exquisite harmony and proportions comparable to the art of ancient Egypt, the art of ancient Greece, the art of uh, classic India, uh, uh, Gupta's uh, dynasty civilization, and even more spectacular, was a mathematical and astronomical and calendrical system that was so precise, so unique, and so different that uh, uh, after a generation of study, most archaeologists abandoned any further understanding of this system uh, uh, of calendrics, astronomy, and, and mathematics. Uh, nonetheless, it is this, this one strand, the mathematical, calendrical, astronomical system that uh, has distinguished the Mayans uh, uh, not only intellectually but uh, artistically and aesthetically. And so we can still ask whence came the system, whence came the Maya. Every ceremony in the Mayas to need to be in order because we believe when we make something in order, we are giving the respect to our God. Because God for us is order. Like when we say Hunabku, what is Hunabku? Hunabku, the symbolic uh, form of Hunabku is the, the, the circle and the square. It's the movement and the measure. The circle and the square, this is the symbolic form of Hunabku, God in Maya. At the same time, it's the representation of the pyramid. The cosmic information comes through the sun and hits the pyramid of Kukulkan in Chichen. And then slowly, slowly, the seven triangles of uh, light are formed. These seven points of light represent seven chakras within our bodies and within everyone, a, a, you know, a human body that we were all together, and the planet also as a body, you know. Each one of these triangles of light meant a step of initiation for each one of us, you know. 
If you choose to be with Maya, and you choose to be the sacred metrix that is 700 years of, in the 700s was laid, then you obey. If you disagree, you go away. <coughs> People are talking about healing the world. I want to inform you the world is healing itself. It will get up and shake. It will roar. Its winds will whirl. There will be volcanoes and waves. It is expected by many spiritual leaders. The rash that we are feeling all is that the time is upon us. It is getting late. Late for playing the game. The name of the book of Chilambaland Chumayel, in that book they speak about the prophecy, and the prophecies say, thousands and thousands of people, they're going to come back here in this center to try to understand that kind of knowledge the insights make for the human beings. Sokol, Bitol, look upon us, hear us, do not leave us, do not take away our protection. O oh, Hunabku, heart of the sky, give us our descendants, our continuity, while the sun is walking, while there is light. Give us a good path to walk, that the nations might have peace, much peace, and might be happy. Give us a good life and a useful existence.
The fact that there are people here from many nations in the world means that Chichen Itza is an authentic heritage from humanity, not only a cultural heritage but a spiritual one. In the past, the ancient cultures had their own sacred centers and considered them to be the only sacred centers in the world. I believe that today we have all to acquire a cosmic consciousness and to understand that all the sacred centers of the world have the same importance, be it Christians, Buddhists, or Hispanic or Muslims. We need to have a cosmic consciousness because the main problems of the world are planetary. Pollution, nuclear energy, economic crisis, and we need to have a planetary solution for all those problems.
by my mortal power. power. By, by my sin power. By my sin power. By my sin power. By my third power. By my seventh power. By my fourth power. Walking with my power. By my fifth power. By my second power. By my sixth power. By my third power. By my seventh power. By my fifth power. By my seventh power. Hermanos solares y hermanas solares. <coughs> At the conclusion of this ceremony, know that this initiatic center has been reawakened, that this initiatic center has been opened. In the beginning, we were all one family. We knew of the sacred love and respect for all of creation. Our pre-dawn ceremony honors the energies of the sun, which powers our daily life. We honor our Mother Earth, who nurtures all with air to breathe, food to eat, water to drink, and a world to make our homes and raise our children. Much has passed since the dawn of our human family. Tribes and civilizations have come and gone. A multitude of creative ways to honor creation have been practiced and forgotten. We find ourselves in a time of history in which crisis and potential disaster threatens the survival of life in our planet. It is spoken that we humans must come back to a sacred path if we are to survive. We are guided in this journey to the ancient spiritual center of the Americas, to the land of the Mayans, Nachan, Palenque, Etzna, Uxmal, Kaaba, Loltun, Chichen Itza. A journey to discover the cosmic knowledge that offers the information and laws of our galaxy, the sacred geometry of the temples and the pyramids. The new cycle of the sacred calendar of cosmic time for human beings has started. The pyramids are given their information impressed within their stones where the essence of the Mayan knowledge was kept for a millennium. It is time to reopen our sacred Mayan ceremonial centers. The esoteric knowledge of Quetzalcoatl, of Kukulkan, offer all of us an understanding for the beginning of this new cycle and the solar initiation for the year 2013 begins here. Mexico, the 
people who have inherited the Mayan blood, what could you tell them of their ancestors? What could they really learn? What could they relearn from the philosophy and the knowledge that the Mayas have left? What is there to relearn, what is there to reawaken to, is the greatest gift and the greatest treasure that we know on this planet. I hate all the uh, but it's very important for people around the planet to get together on behalf of the planet because the planet is in trouble. People understand two things from, from that. One is that it is necessary to unite on behalf of the earth and the other that this uniting on behalf of the earth must be done in a sacred manner. The return of Kukulkan, the return of Quetzalcoatl, or the return of the Pahana, or the second coming of Christ, is all but the same. Yeah, it cannot be, it was an integral culture. The Mayas were an absolutely integral culture and things cannot be separated one from each other. Everything is one unity, one integrity. And this is what the Mayas have to teach us, that we are integral part of nature and of the cosmos. And all this has a, has a very natural flow as long as we respect this. It cannot be separated how to love. The love for God is the same as the love for nature and the love for ourselves. Mother Earth, que nos vio nacer. That gave us birth. Paz. Give us peace. Denos amor. Give us love. Denos tranquilidad. Give us tranquility. Why I'm opening sacred sites because I believe that if we open that sacred center inside of ourselves, that's the key. The sites and the temples are there. It's it's us, the sacred temple inside of ourselves, and, and our sacred fire. If we get that going, we've got what it takes to, to make it through this, this time.
say that Kabbalah is the hidden knowledge of duality. This is the teaching of Kabbalah, of the tree of life, is the hidden knowledge of duality. And here between these temples is this teaching of Kabbalah. <laughs> seven colors representing the seven root races of man. The rainbow banner has been carried around the globe. It now forms a belt of light around the equator. Beginning of wisdom is represented and symbolized for Mexico in the form of Quetzalcoatl or Kukulkan amongst the Mayans. And the Mayans were the people amongst the people in Mexico who were the highest civilization in, probably in this continent. People are talking about healing the world. I want to inform you the world is healing itself. It will get up and shake. It will roar. Its wings will whirl. The information comes through the sun and hits the pyramid of Kukulkan in Chichen. And then slowly, slowly, the seven triangles of uh, light are formed. These seven points of light represent seven chakras within our bodies and within everyone, a, 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 you know, a human body that we were all together, and the planet also as a body, you know. Each one of these triangles of light meant a step of initiation for each one of us. our descendants, our continuity, while the sun is walking, while there is light. Give us a good path to walk, that the nations might have peace, much peace, and might be happy. Give us a good life and a useful existence.